Bravo, one eight zero Bravo, Bravo. Good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, two thousand feet on one zero one four. Bravo, Bravo. Good Bravo, Bravo. Hello YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane Dedicated. Today we're going to have a look at something really unusual. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click and subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you dislike what you see. And also get the bell on and you'll be notified of when YouTube videos go live in relation to X-Plane 11. So today we're going to have a look at the Columban Cree Cree. When it first came out or when I was first passed this by Tom Coombs, I thought it was Columbian, but it isn't. It's Columban Cree Cree. And this is the smallest twin-engined one-seater airplane in the world. This was uh, developed by a guy called, um, well I've forgotten his name now, it was developed in the 1970s by Michael or Michel Columban, a Frenchman. And the nickname of the plane is Christine, um, which was one of Columban's daughters. It's a really weird looking thing, it's got this twin engine kind of um, configuration and the engines are out on those pods almost like racing pods from Star Wars or um, thingies what do they call them nacelles from Star Trek anyway it's a really weird looking aircraft but surprisingly really fast and nippy and nimble it really does shift and uh, we'll take off at around about 50 to 60 knots but very quickly we'll get up to 80 knots and we'll stay there and it, it takes an age to slow down it really does it's one of those planes that just wants to fly there's only two stages of flap so when you are coming into land and you're trying to slow down you really need to get you need to fly well ahead of the aircraft otherwise it will do you some serious damage comes with a number of liveries I chose the yellow one for this flight just to see what it would be like more than anything as i say it is very very nimble <clears throat> i was at uh, barton airport manchester and it, the weather was a little bit cloudy a little bit uh, miserable but i had uh, raindrops on the glass canopy or the perspex canopy it was really strange and the way that it missed it up as well part way up excellent fun though and uh, unfortunately being so small when you go into an external view it takes you quite a while especially when you do the uh, flyby external view it takes quite a while for you to be able to spot the aircraft because it's so small here you see me flying around uh, Barton Airport uh, Manchester area uh, and of course being such a small aircraft and not many polygons the frame rates are incredibly high with this even with the animation of the engines vibrating there as you can see them vibrating and the exhaust pipes which are not very far away from the perspex you see the exhaust pipes vibrating also one of the things that made me laugh was the fact that the pilot in the aircraft is a woman so it doesn't matter who you are you're always going to be depicted as a woman in uh, in this aircraft which is fine you know this all bodes well for inclusivity etc um so uh, the Cree Cree features a cantilever low wing a single seat enclosed cockpit under a bubble canopy uh, and it's got a fixed tricycle landing gear uh, with twin engines mounted on pylons to the nose of the aircraft in like in a tractor configuration it's, uh, it's made from aluminium sheets glued to uh, Cleek cell foam. It's 4.9 meters uh, wingspan and it employs a Wartman 21.7% mod airfoil and has an area of 3.1 square meters. One thing I did, I did notice obviously is, is gravity feed fuel because if you fly inverted for any length of time, all of a sudden your engines will cut out, uh, which is okay. You just flip the aircraft back over and the fuel will start to flow and the engines roar back into life I, roar maybe that's the wrong word to use because it's so tiny um but they make it they make a consistent sound anyway and that's the main thing um <clears throat> not an awful lot more to tell you about it it, it, it it's a home built uh, aircraft so you build it at home um Builders often modify them, uh, departing from the original design to a varying degree. There's actually even a jet version available, and I think you get, I think you get the jet version as well. So the cost of this is fifteen dollars, and as you can see, I'm coming into land here at incredible rates of knots. It just will not slow down. 
but it costs fifteen dollars. It's available from xplane.org. It's also available on the uh, developer's own site, and I'll leave a link for that down below in the bottom of the video as well. As I say, there's not a huge amount to this aircraft, so you know you can't you can't see an awful lot uh, with it, but you know it's good fun and uh, highly enjoyable. I hope you found the video useful. As always, my name is Wycliffe Barrett. This is Explain Dedicated. We're pumping out the videos at the moment, and I'm using new software today. This is uh, Resolve 16, and um, this is a new video editor, which I'm tending to like. So we'll keep using it and see how we get along. Cheerio.